All right, so um, looking back at the original recording I did trying to like showcase my home setup, I rambled on way too long and I just didn't get like the most important things out of the way. So yeah, um, in this video, I'm gonna cover down everything I pretty much use for a home setup for pump. And hopefully this helps give you guys a base on how you guys wanna make your own home setups or just generally if you're curious, so yeah. So my setup started really simple back then. It was just a simple TV. But now, um, you can clearly tell there's a lot more going now. Um, so, first, let's talk about pads. In front of the bar right there is the LTEC. And um, I have a lot to say about this pad. It was my first ever pad, but my overall consensus with this pad was genuinely being really frustrated with the product. Um, my opinion changed a little bit near the end after I recently sold it after I did some quick modifications, which I think uh, ultimately made this product way better than I remembered. But yeah, um, the LTEC, when I first purchased it, was like around like $350 to the US uh, after shipping. And it was the old version with the uh, 100 Hertz pulling rate. Now, um, I know in my original LTEC video, I did quite speak negatively about it. Would I go back and say I was wrong about my opinion about the LTEC? Probably not. I still think for a product of this like price and premium of like how they market it, uh, there should just generally be, you know, like more resources out there on how to mod it or just the original product just being better by itself. The pad under the couch is the um, soft pad I ordered from a PIU Dance Pad from Instagram. And I have to say, they were my second pad I purchased, and I was very surprised that this pad, even after like over a year when I first purchased it, I think it was like $125 at the time, um, shoutouts to them, they did give me a discount back then to make a video directly on their pads. Um, this is not that video, but for now, <laughs> I get to like ex express my overall, you know, my positive experience with the soft pad. Despite it being a soft pad, it's much better than like a typical soft pad you'd expect. Let's compare it to like, I don't know, like a DDR soft pad or something. Um, no, it is miles better. You can actually feel the pressure of like, kind of like where you're pressing. Um, heel and toe, very responsive. Um, and it just feels really solid to play on. It doesn't feel like a soft pad. Now, is it gonna feel like metal premium? Of course not. You're paying for the cheaper price point and that overall, uh, you know, slight scuffness. Like, you know, the build quality is not gonna be as high as the Deltec. Over time, my soft pad was unfortunately not so lucky where um, a lot of things just broke over time. So for one, the sensors, uh, the aluminum sensors, the contact points that were used to connect it, uh, simply just, like, they like ripped over time. So that had me to um, open the soft pad and apply tape to fix it. Um, this worked for a while until like a few months ago where it just died on me. The thing, the uh, player one left bottom arrow just didn't work. I tried to desolder the controller and then the entire thing broke. <laughs> so um, we'll see how I do. So yeah, I currently have no pads right now at home. Let's first talk about the bar. I used to use that wood chair. It's some like random IKEA wood chair back then and it really served me well and I still think it's honestly a really solid bar. I later on upgraded to a uh, ballet bar. Um, what's it called? It had an extra bar, so I kind of just attached it in the middle and it works well. Um, I can adjust the height um, slightly wobbly. I think, but there's a bar in the back, so pretty much you can like go ham at it. Um, there's also a little bit more room, so you can like, you know, extend your arms out. Maybe it's not the best for uh, arcade muscle memory, but it's, uh, you know, it's very adequate for a home setup. The TV back then, I used to have these printer ink boxes that would hold the TV. Um, I got a uh, TV stand. Um, there's either a normal TV mount or a wall mount. And I decided to go for the uh, just a standard stand as I we weren't sure if the um, walls were strong enough to handle the wall mount, so we decided to just get one that you can just be stationary. There's a bunch of like my old school papers making it a bit taller, 
And yeah, what's nice about it is that if I want to play like Wii U or Nintendo, Nintendo Switch games, I could just simply uh, put it down, like just past the TV. And uh, yeah, it's a lot more visually appealing compared to just random printer boxes. The third shelf is where I have my laptop connected to an HDMI to the TV. This pretty much holds Step PXX or Step Prime or Pump Sandy or whatever it's called now. Above are some fun little is cosmetics. I have Chai Duck, Candy Plushies, Acrylic Arcade Cabinet Stands, Chino and Cocoa from Is the Order of the Rabbit, Pump It Up Fiesta 2 Marquee. Um, there is a Winnow Smart Clock there, uh, Crossing Delta CD, Canon Combos Book, and Pump It Up LED Lamp. On the wall, we have the Pump It Up XX, Prime, and Prime 2 posters. This is a close-up and a newer photo of the current setup. Top shelf has my consoles, Wii U, Switch, Oculus. Third shelf has my controllers and things I have to eventually set up. And it's still a work in progress. I'm still organizing it, so it's a little scuffed right now. Don't look at the cable management. That's an old shelf that I relocated downstairs. Mm -hmm. Pump it up zero, marquee. This video is a bit old, but that was the sound vortex section I was working on. This is the Keychron C1. I did some extra mods on it with the switches. I think the stabilizers as well. Uh, this is the Razer Orochi V2. These are the SIM files I have. Some of them I've gotten rid of over the years. What the hell is PP? I have no idea. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. After editing this video, I just realized I spent hundreds of dollars on things I don't even need.